All right, folks, we're going to jump right into it. We need to break out of this dock. Our goal today is to get this boat outside this dock so that we can make it to Darbone, the crappie masters. Folks, never fish there, but we've got a daunting task ahead of us. We've got six to seven inch of ice here. I'm going to walk you through the process, and then we are going to be fishing at Lake Darbone before the end of this episode. So stick with me. Please subscribe. Let's make this happen. All right, here's the situation. It's not easy. I can tell you, the road to Darbone is not easy, <laughs> but nothing that is worthwhile is that easy. We're trying, check it out. We've got a, a nice hole outside the dock now where we can turn the boat around. And we're really hoping if we get out to the main, out to deep, deep water, 35, 40 foot water, that that, water, that ice is going to be a lot thinner. It's going to need to be a lot thinner. So the advantage that we have today is that we have a good south wind. That's going to open up one of the ramps. And then tomorrow the wind's going to switch from a northwest, which should come right into this cove. And we're hoping that's going to make it even easier. But for us, getting past the thick ice is most important today because we'll have no shot tomorrow if we don't do it today, get this part of it done today. So why is it important to get on the road now? Because we need to pre-fish. We've never been to Darbone. So very important that we pre-fish before this big tournament for the crappie masters. I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with. That's five inches of ice right there, solid. So you think it'll be thinner out there because it's deeper water? That's what I think, but I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my thought process. Folks, we worked on this for three days to get to where you're seeing us now. It is hard, exhausting work. And at our age, well, just a little overwhelming. So we need to get this boat positioned out the middle of this cove before tomorrow where we know it's gonna warm up a little bit. And we think the only way we're gonna do it now is to move this boat over the ice like you're seeing. Not the best way to do things, but at the end of the day, we need to get to Darbone. <laughs> See, there's that crack out there. I wonder if we can get to that if it'll just what? Those guys really want to fish. <laughs> so we're going to evaluate the boat, make sure we're not hurting the boat by uh, going up on the ice and kind of smashing it. That'll kind of give us an idea if we can continue to do that to where we want to get to. So we're just going to evaluate. I know it's not a smart thing to do, but you got to do what you got to do. She looks good. Uh, I have no really concerns right now. As long as we take it easy and we just go up, let it come down on it. Um, you know, you can see where it's doing what it needs to do with the dirt, but it's really not damaging anything. It doesn't appear, so who knows? I, I think we're okay. I think this is the perfect line. We got two cracks. We're going right in between them. It should help us, I think. did some work. Kids, just stick to bass fishing. It's nice and relaxing. You can always catch one. Trying to break three, trying to break free. Here we go, here we go. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> you know somebody's watching us. <laughs> All right, big deal. That ice is way thinner than what we've been going through. Certainly not as tough. I could probably motor really slow and get us out here. The question is, what's the smart move? I have no idea. The smart move? Yeah. We're beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> so our goal at the end of this day was definitely just to get to the middle of this cove. And so, what we're going to do right here is we're just going to break it up enough to make kind of a, a big good circle, good size circle that we can make sure that we can get a turnaround and go back to the dock for the evening and hope that the warm weather tomorrow will literally melt it by at least half. That's the goal. Now we're not going to come back till later in the day tomorrow. So we're hoping we'll give that sun good opportunity to do the damage that it needs to do for us to get to a private ramp across the cove. Getting as far as we got. Here, I'll show you what we did, boys and girls. Hold on. Let me get the boat up. All right, so we achieved what we wanted to achieve. I'm trying to stay positive, but I got to admit, definitely in the need for two days of serious warmer weather, which we have coming, so we have hope. But let me just show you what we did here. So we got to where we wanted to get to, which was right out here, and we got an idea of what that ice is and it's roughly around two and a half inch ice clear a lot softer but at the same time it's a little daunting knowing you have to go way out there to uh, get to a boat ramp and scary at the same time so you're breaking that ice basically with the boat and that's not a good feeling this white ice is extremely hard extremely tough so uh, there's no way we could possibly go that way which is the shorter distance to the boat ramp. Even trying to get from this point here to another boat ramp, which we have right over here, would be extremely painful. All right, folks, this is kind of the day that we decide whether or not we're gonna be able to go to Darbone. If we can make it across the cove to a private boat ramp, uh, we're gonna go, and I'll tell you, we get out there and the, the ice is only about an inch and a half thick. We're able to go relatively slow through it, a couple stops here and there, but we uh, knocked on a door found a private boat ramp at a house. There's very few on my home lake. And they said, yeah, sure, you can use it. And we went over there, we're able to get the boat on the, uh, the, the ramp and it was easy on the, uh, on the trailer. And we were headed to Darbone literally within an hour of getting this boat off this lake. So we traveled all night and- Lake Darbone is located near a small town called Farmersville. Boom, baby. Well, what's up, folks? We have got a special for you today. We are at uh, Lake Darbone practicing for the uh, Crappie Masters event. If you followed that on TikTok, you would have known that we had a long way to get here, me and Marcus. So uh, we have arrived and uh, we're gonna be fishing Lake Darbone for the next several episodes. So never been on the water. It's absolutely brand new to us. And so we're gonna try to figure it out. But from what I can tell, already just being here for two seconds there's a ton of timber out there we're at the uh, state park set up here it's very nice boat ramp uh, not a lot of boats here so i'm wondering if we're in the right spot immediately uh, it's a beautiful day we're gonna have 70 degree temperatures and uh, a lot to figure out so lake darbone is located near a small town called farmersville and uh it's roughly 15,000 acres it's man-made and uh, that was done, I believe, in 1953 is what I read about it. So I couldn't find any fish attractors that were actually put in here, but there seems to be a lot of fish attraction with these trees. Uh, the state park is beautiful. I'm assuming what I'm seeing in the state park right now is exactly what's actually in the water. It's gonna be a calm day. It's gonna be a beautiful, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Thanks for joining, please subscribe. We're gonna get this boat on the water. Me and Marcus are gonna be scoping and checking everything out. We're gonna do some live scope. So thanks for joining, we appreciate it. So that's right, folks. After a long night of driving, we made it to Darbone. We are excited about being here, learning all about this great lake and sharing our experience. And I can't wait to share that with you. On this episode, it's just about catching fish and we do it through live scope as we always do. And I'll tell you, just a great lake. I missed it. That's the first Darbone fish right there. First Darbone fish.
Boom, baby. So we're fishing with the three pound fishing elite series. Marcus has got a 10 footer. He's actually used one of the gray ones. I'm playing with the 13 footer right now. Since we're jigging, these fish are just roaming around here on the flats, right outside the channel. Midday, bluebird day. Let's go. So dart bone is a definitely a, a lot of structure, a lot of structure, and very unique from the standpoint that they have boat lanes everywhere. And you have to stay within those boat lanes or you will be in trouble. So a lot of structure. We're looking for points. That's kind of always our starting point, and that's what we do at dart bone. Small guy, but he was fun. It was fun to watch him. All right, not the easiest fishing, I'll tell you. But a beautiful day, bluebird, dirty water. Water temperature is roughly around 35. And uh, we're just fishing right off this creek channel, which is it's interesting about this lake. It's very narrow channels that you're supposed to maneuver around so far that's what we know but we're gonna go around and search around the lake check it out maybe find something else but right now we haven't really attached on anything other than if a fish wants to eat it's gonna eat and 90 percent of them are saying no they maybe more than that 95 percent of them are saying they don't want to eat so it's not like you can keep going down on the same fish and trying to get it to bite it's either gonna bite or it's not right off the bat all right, reality is that we don't probably do as much research as we should do. I know a lot of people do a lot more. So we go into a lake, we tend to get a little frustrated when, we're, when we first arrive, the first day, first day and a half, because we're trying to figure it out. Whereas if we maybe research the maps a little bit better, we'd get to that positive vibe a little sooner. But we're having a great time and we love just trying to figure it out. And it is daunting sometimes, without a doubt, when you look at these lakes and how big they are. It's a fish. It's a little frustrating right now. This guy came at it pretty aggressively. I'm gonna show you the jig on. You'll see this on my website. We'll call it Darbone. That's the jig right now. Good fish. All right, here's the deal, folks. I am starting to sell jigs on my website. I've had several people already buy them, and I'm just gonna tell you that. They're not gonna be perfect, but I do personally do them. It is what I fish with on all these lakes. So when I go to these lakes, I'm going to tell you the, the, the actual jigs that I'm using, and this one is going to be called the Darbone. So check it out, 3poundfishing.com if you have an interest, but I'm gonna tell you right away that they're not perfect. They're made from a guy that loves the fish and they seem to be doing the trick. So check them out, they're pretty cool. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.